what are the chances? Do you think she'll turn up? It's up to Terry and God, eh, Dan? God's not talking, unfortunately. <laughs> Frank lost everything, and yet he's still willing to fight for other people. It's pretty inspiring. Yeah, there's all this stuff about maps and dams and runoffs, but the first time all this actually became real was listening to him. Here we go again. What? Ever since Russell Beatty had his lunch stolen in third grade and you gave him your jam sandwiches, you're a sucker for the underdog. You remember that? Oh, that's what you always do. Oh, I'm just saying, you know, now I know how much we've got to win this thing, that's all. Don't know if she'll cope on the show jumping circuit. Oh, you're here early. You got good news, going to join the Dan protest? Actually, I'm here to see you. I rang my daughter in Germany. She couldn't believe that I'd met you. <laughs> I spoke to her coach about how she was going too. <laughs> Seems the show jumping world is pretty small. <laughs> I know why you left Europe and came here. I haven't done anything. I was set up. Still, it could get awkward. Especially as you're the face of this damn protest. Won't help the cause if it got out. You wouldn't. Oh, I'm just saying. I'll help you if you help me. By getting drovers to accept the government's compensation and not stopping the dam. Well, even if I could, you think it's going to stop other people opposing it? You're overestimating me. I don't think so. I can't believe you'd do this. I'm just doing whatever it takes to save my farm. Don't tell me that anyone on drovers wouldn't do the same. Those. You wanted me to taste them before. Yeah, well, now it's going to cost you two bucks a piece from the cake store. Oh, fine. Moira? Oh, can you explain this offside rule to me again? Look, I've explained that three times already. Well, I don't know why Dan made me coach. You know more about the game than I do. Yeah, well, I'd love to, but I'm really busy here. Okay. You okay? Yeah, um, I'm fine. I'm just going over this damn problem. I mean, there's got to be another way to get water, right? We get most of our waters from bores anyway, don't we? Yeah, but the river feeds the water table. Without the river, the bores will dry up. So, if we don't stop the dam or if we can't win? Without water, we die. We have to win. She's threatening to go public. I'll lose my sponsor. I'll lose Annie, my career. I'll bring me back as soon as you get this. Jess, what's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. Um, I'm just worried about Annie. Uh, her leg's not healing quite as quickly as we wanted. I didn't realise it was that serious. What about your training, the Olympics? Uh, I don't know. Well, don't you have a backup horse? No, so I don't know what's going to happen. I just, you know, we've got work to do before the match. Well, why can't your sponsor do more to help you? Just leave it, Grace. Well, there must be something they can do. Pretty slack, if you ask me. Maybe I should get a new one. I'll probably never get another sponsor. What? Why not? It's just not that simple. My sponsor owns my horse, and I can't afford to buy any, so I'm pretty much at their mercy. Whatever they decide to do, that's what happens. Even when your career's on the line? I wish there was something I could do. Thanks, Grace, really, but this is my problem. I'll deal with it myself. So how come we're having a soccer match anyway? Wouldn't more people around here know how to play AFL? Oh, they're mixed teams, so can't be a contact sport. Well, lucky for you two, then. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I've played a few games in my time. Oh, you haven't seen Marcus play yet? Oh, I've kicked a ball once or twice, you know. Nothing special. I'll tell you what, when you see me coming, step aside, let me pass, and maybe you'll be OK. <laughs> hey, Nat just called from town. That delivery was late. It's going to be a couple of hours. Well, that stuff's up everything. I was going to get him to fix the pump while we moved the sheep. Sorry, mate. I have to change your plans. All right. Hey, 
Patrick, where's the mob for vaccinating? What do you mean? Well, I picked up the vaccinations, but the yards are empty. Oh, don't tell me. The mob we just moved needed drenching and vaccinating. I forgot about the whole thing. Oh, damn it! What a waste of time. Oh, we're gonna have to put them back in the yards. Nah, it'll take forever. We'll just set up portable yards in the paddock, do them there. Right, uh, yeah, good idea. Right, we're gonna have to get a start, otherwise we're never gonna make this match. Nat, do you want to get the portables? Sure. Uh, Patrick, the water pump. The water pump? Oh. I'm playing in the match. I've got to be there in an hour. All right, well, I'm just going to have to miss the match. Nat, you can help me with the sheet. Do you want to get started on the water pump for me? Right now, Patrick's probably making decisions, giving orders, managing stock. And what am I doing? Cake delivery. Well, it's all for a good cause. And any... What? Beth? What's going on? Hi, Moira. I just want to do my bit, help out with the fighting fund. Um, you know, my cake store raised over $1,000 for the CFS. Well, that's great, but it's my job to run the cake store. It's been organised for weeks. Oh. You don't mind a bit of friendly competition, do you? It is all for a good cause. Shut up. The more the merrier, eh, Moira? Why not? <laughs> Jazz, ready for the big day? Yeah, sure, ready and raring. Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry, you two haven't met. Uh, this is my daughter, Lily. Lily, this is Jazz. Hi. I hope you know more about soccer than Dad. He's hopeless. Hey, I'm pretty good. <laughs> well, I've been living in Europe for quite a while, so I've seen my share of games. Jazz is a champion show jumper. Really? Are you going to help your dad set up for the game? Yeah, better get down there. Lily? Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. All right. That's so cool. How many comps have you won? Have you got any trophies? Can I see them? Oh, I didn't bring them with me. Oh. Dad said that show jumpers have to train really hard. Well, he's right. What's your horse's name? Um, Annie. Have you got any photos? Uh, sorry, Lily, but we're really busy right now. You know where to find your dad, don't you? Quit. Quit what? The protest, the dam, everything. I can't be the face of the campaign. Why? I just can't, I'm sorry. But what about Drovers? Don't you care what's happening? Of course I do, but... But what? I have to go back to Europe. Annie's been ruled fit to ride and I have to go back and start training. Well, I thought you said Annie wasn't doing so well. How come she's fit to ride all of a sudden? She was misdiagnosed. Now she's going to be okay after all. I'm sorry, I need to book a flight. Jess. Finished the pump already? You didn't tell me we needed a new impeller. Why, you didn't get one? You didn't ask me to. Well, I thought I did. Dude. There's just so much to keep track of. Marcus is going to lose it. Keep it together. It's your first day on the job. He'll cut you some slack. Yeah, but I said I'd be up for all this. I had no idea how much stuff I had to be across. All I'm used to looking after is what I have to do. Send someone to town to pick up an impeller. Still have time to fix it before knockoff. But Nat, go back to town, pick up a trimmed impeller. Well, I'm off too. To kick Marcus's butt. Patrick, remember, stay calm. Beth wants to borrow a bowl and a spatula. She needs to do some last minute icing. Does she? So she and Phil seem pretty close. Do they? 